Okay. Well, Hello. We have little microphones today, so this is kind of fun. It's like we're on a little podcast together. This is our first time ever filming with these little microphones that we just got. I feel like a little more professional. We are the least professional YouTubers on the face of the planet. <laughs> Via, we haven't posted in two plus months. Um, we have four children. <laughs> yes. And possibly more coming. So uh, <laughs> life is just very busy at the moment. Uh, we actually have Sunday back here. She's Sunday watching Miss Rachel. Watching she just Rachel. From um, so we can film this. Yes, and the other kids are out there just because we don't have a nanny. So yeah, for thirty minutes, our kids get to watch a show. Yeah, so a lot of people awesome. are like, "When are you guys posting on the little Brant family again? Are we, you know?" And it's just like, "When we can." Mm-hmm. Um, and, and we have full intentions to, and then before we know it, a month goes by. But this is kind of nice because then we can just give like giant updates on life. It's funny. It makes I, a little more sense. It does. And it's funny because I remember like six months ago, we said like after moving here, we're like, let's just try and do like monthly vlogs. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, man, like one vlog a month, that's so easy. Like, yeah. And people are going to do it's not so much. And then like a month it goes, goes by, by so, so oh my fast. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's been two months. So yeah. uh, yes, we love you guys. Um, we've even been contemplating like changing this channel as a whole, just because obviously we aren't like doing more like couple things like marriage stuff. Yeah, we aren't vlogging a ton. Just with four kids, the kids are very busy, and part of moving to Tennessee was shifting a lot of things and priorities in our life. So we might yeah. kind of shift this back into like a Cole and Sav kind yeah, of Yeah, let us know what channel. you guys think about that because that not might that, be what we do. Yeah, not that we won't like show the kids or like have them, you know. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> oh, bless you, Sunday. <laughs> bless you, Sunday. But uh, it's definitely a lot less family. Oriented. I mean, our families are everything, but you guys kind of, I think, yeah. know what we're talking about. Yeah. So just less vlog style, essentially. Yeah. But we have had some pretty big life updates that we are very excited to share with you guys. Um, yeah. Number one, Everly got baptized. Yeah. That was huge. Yeah. This was what, three weeks ago? Yeah. So we were at church and um, all of a sudden the pastor's wife comes up and she goes, so is this true? Everly wants to be baptized? And I was like, what? And I like looked at Everly and Everly had filled out a little form that day in church and handed it like in. Mm-hmm. So cute. She didn't even tell us. Yeah. And like looks at me and smiles all big and was just like so excited. And that was probably what, like a month and a half ago or so? Yeah, it was like a month and a half ago. So I was like, I guess so. I'm like, so, so Everly and Cole actually had a really big conversation about it a few days before she got baptized, you know, just explaining it all. Mm-hmm. Making sure she really wants to do it because it's a big deal. We want her to be the one who does it, and she totally was. Yeah. Um, well, because like in our house, we talk about God often. It's like a very normal and casual and candid conversation, and yeah, um, you know, we try to make Him the center of everything, and we pray before meals, and we have weekly Bible studies with the kids. But um, our belief is that we never want to like pressure our kids into something that we believe is the biggest decision decision of their life. Yeah. Especially because she's not even eleven yet. So yeah. It was one of those things that actually came to us. It felt very sincere because it wasn't something that we were kind of like, hey, have you been thinking about getting baptized or like, you know, around the stages or whenever, you know, whatever. Yeah. It was really sincere that it was her. And yeah. so as she came to us, um, yeah, she and I had a great conversation on just what it meant, what yeah. it meant to give your life to Jesus and to yeah. be baptized. And uh, So we're super, super yeah. proud of her. Yeah. And it was cool. It was cool because I got to baptize him. My, my buddy, my, he's like one of my best friends, is the pastor of our church. So it was really, yeah. it was actually the church's very first ever baptism. Um, yeah. So it was just a very, very special moment. I actually forgot. I messed it up. I forgot to say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Cause well, I because you were just so cute and you were crying and it was a big emotional moment. So he just forgot. Yeah. I posted That's it on my Instagram and obviously I'm kind of nervous, but, but mainly just like as it started getting closer to like the baptism. I couldn't even really open my mouth like crying. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I knew it was going to be an emotional thing, but I didn't. It was just, it, it was a lot as a dad. So. Yeah. So I've never done this before. This is my first ever uh, time baptizing somebody. So hopefully I get it right. But um, <laughs> Everly came to my wife and I a couple Sundays ago, telling us that she wanted to give her life to Jesus, which is um, the best thing a parent yes. here. So we went home and we had a conversation just making sure that she really understood the severity of what she's doing, but also the importance. And um, it sounds like she truly wants to give her life to Jesus today and every day moving forward. So um, as a dad, I could be more proud. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to do this without crying. So, um, <laughs> you can cry. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't I don't really have the pastor words to say. But, um, but. Uh, I'm very proud of you. And uh, <laughs> okay. it's okay. It's alright. Do you want to give your life to Jesus today and every day moving forward? Yeah. Alright. Amen. 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 <laughs> Yeah! Oh, someone's coming in. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Hey, you guys gotta go back to your show cake because we're, we're filming. <laughs> Be your kids first. I love you. Love you, baby. Love you, buddy. It was a matter of time before that happened. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, big, big, special big moment. special moment this I, past I, I do believe that you should baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And so whenever we got home, we um, got a little bit of water and we kind of put it on the forehead. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and she, she's in the clear now. Um, Savannah went to Uganda. So. So. You went to Uganda. I did go to Uganda. Yeah. Ready? All ready. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so. You went to Uganda. Why I went to Uganda. So. I think that we said in like a pre the pr most previous video or maybe two videos ago mm -hmm. that we had went to an event for a nonprofit and it put, you know, the fire in me to adopt. Mm -hmm. So that same event, it was for a nonprofit called Love One. And that's essentially who I went with was the owners of Love One. Um, and for those that don't know, Love One is an organization that um, takes in malnourished kids. So kids whose moms or whoever is taking care of them. Um, the kids are malnourished and they get dropped off. And these babies are so malnourished. Like the, their wrists are like this big, their legs are this big, mm -hmm. just like the saddest thing. Cause we got to see for a few days, um, the moms or aunts or uncles, whoever was coming in to drop them off, we got to see the babies that were getting dropped off. And it was just the most heartbreaking thing that you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Um, just the fact that, and, and not so like, like you never judge them, the person taking care of them. It was like, they were so upset that they couldn't feed their baby. Like they had, didn't have the means for it. They didn't have the breast milk for it because they weren't getting enough food. There's just like so many things that go into it. And it was just so sad to see. So what they do is they have a center that holds right now like 45 kids. Eventually, very soon in a few months, it's going to hold 150 kids plus 24 breastfeeding moms, which is awesome because the moms now get to breastfeed and stay with their babies. But so right now it holds 45 kids. I got to go to that center and I got to just go love on all the babies, which was so much fun for me because, you know, if you know me, you know how much I love babies. So I just got to love on all these babies. And these are the babies that get brought in. So, so essentially when they first get brought in, they get taken to the hospital if it's very severe and loved one takes care of everything there. And then they um, get brought to the center once they're stable. So once they're stable, they get brought to the center and they just get loved on, loved on, fed. You know, they get to learn, they get to play, all the things. Um, mm. And there's just the most amazing staff who takes care of them, all the caretakers. But it really puts everything into perspective when you see that there's kids out there who just don't have food. Mm -hmm. Like, and we're over here throwing mac and cheese away, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> throwing six chicken nuggets away because our kids only ate one when I made them seven. Like, it's just, it like really puts it in per into perspective, just life in general, just everything. Mm -hmm. Like I came back with just, and almost like, like an anger whenever you come back, right? Yeah, and I came, I did like come back a little angry, anger, which right? the girls warned me about. We're so selfish here. Yeah, and the, and in some cases, it's I don't want to say it's okay, but it's okay if it's like all you know. But yeah. then whenever you do know more, um, I feel like a lot of times like we're gonna be judged off of what we know. Yeah, and so now that you know, it's like what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. You know, what kind of sacrifices are you going to make? How's your life going to be different because of what you know? Yeah. So, basically, so that's kind of the season that we're walking through. Yeah. And I love that Savannah's leading the way in our family. And I love that this, this organization is mom ran, women ran. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, they warned me when I came back that I was going to be a little less patient just in general with everything. Mm -hmm. And I totally believe that because when I, <laughs> when I came back, just like little things, like see the birds. I don't have enough cute shirts, you know. Yeah. And you're like, you have ten shirts, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would find myself going, 
there's kids in Uganda that only have one shirt and they have to wash it without a washing machine, just with water and soap outside, yeah. hang it up to dry and they wear it again. You know, and, so yeah, like... It's just, it's just the first world things that we yeah. get so upset about here. Yeah. Um, so it really just op- it opened my eyes. It, 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 it just did so... It did so much more to me than I thought it would. And I knew it was going to be life-changing and amazing, but it just did so much more to me yeah. by far. Like mm-hmm. then, then I did anything for them at all. Yeah. Like I'm, I was just a glimpse of like, oh, who's this girl? Mm-hmm. And I left. But for me, it like changed my world. Yeah. So no, 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 baby. No, no, no. That- we'll link the nonprofit below. If you want to donate to it, you can. It's just going, I, I've been there and I know it's going to an amazing cause. Mm-hmm. So amazing. Yeah. And saving so many babies' lives. So it's really cool. And one thing I wanted to add was after they're done at the center, they then get to go back with their family, which I think is really cool. So it's not an orphanage. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not trying to find families for them. They'll put them back with an aunt if the mom isn't able to or any caretaker in the family that can, which I think is awesome. And obviously there's cases where where adoption is um, necessary necessary or an option. If if nobody's able to, basically. So, yeah. But I found that really awesome. Yeah. That's part of it. So if you want to donate or anything, they also have really cute merch. They have cute um, sweat outfits and stuff that obviously the money all goes to the nonprofit. So we'll do, I'll link everything below yeah. for you guys so you guys can check it out. Something something that I loved when learning about the um, the organization was if you're not a Christian, um, this is something that you should absolutely support because they are taking care of. Yeah. Um, they're taking care of people. They're taking care of kids, sick kids. Uh, and there's nothing in my eyes more important than that. But as somebody and people who are Christians, they go beyond that. And after, and during their time of taking care of these children, um, they're teaching them about Jesus. So they're not just taking care of them, uh, temporarily, but also, um, eternally. Mm Because I think that it's so important that as people of faith, we don't just put a bandaid on a wound and then send them on their way. Um, but put a bandaid on the wound, send them on their way with their eternal salvation. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. And I know that they were saying like so many of like the workers and the people who like built the, you know, places and oh, the just, construction workers and like that. On, and they've, they're like, on fire for God. They've like all Everyone given their lives to Jesus. Yeah. There. So it's like, uh, and they're just so thankful, so thankful for mm-hmm. everything. So they're just, they're the best. Everyone there was yeah, the best. I haven't been, but it sounds, I want him to it go sounds really bad. I want to take him and awesome, everybody so. with me next time. Um, I want to add one more thing because I feel like this is kind of important too. Mm-hmm. Because I said there was only 45 kids that could be in the center. Don't think that that's just where all the money is going to. It's also they do outpatient programs. So obviously they can't take in all of the babies. They take in the worst cases. And then they do outpatient programs to where they go check on the kids um, throughout the week. And they feed, give them food. They give the family food to like, you know, make sure that the kids are taken care of even after the center and ones that couldn't get taken into the center are being taken care of as well. Mm-hmm. So there's just so many things that you're where the money is going to, which mm-hmm. is amazing. Yeah. And their ultimate goal is to take care of every single child yeah. in all of Uganda. Yeah. So it's a crazy big yeah. wild dream that you think is impossible, but if but everybody, if everybody gets involved, yeah. then um, who knows it's possible. And then, yeah. you know, Uganda is just one of many countries mm-hmm. um, that needs help. But if it breaks God's heart, um, then it should break ours yeah. and who knows where to go. Yeah. But I think it's awesome that people are doing something and any small little piece that we can, we can play. We, um, so those are kind of like the two biggest life updates. Um, yeah. we do we have some, tell them that we're taking the kids to Disney world oh, we're tomorrow. Disney world tomorrow. They, they have no out. idea. They, you guys were so excited. You don't know I they. packed their suitcases, all of theirs, even <laughs> really she might not like me for that one because she's <laughs> such a planner and she Sunday. always packs herself. We're going to Disney world tomorrow. So I packed everybody. All right, family meeting, family meeting, everybody in the living room, family meeting, everybody in the living room, family meeting, everybody in the living room, go sit down on the couch, we're just having a family meeting, that's all. Okay, we're going to get nice and close together, we got to ask all questions, so it's a uh, Saturday we're trying to figure out what to do. Um, so we need the whole family to help us decide what we're going to do today, okay? Okay, so I, I, I have three options on what we can do, okay? We can either go to the park. We can go to a farm. Or 
We could hop on an airplane right now and fly to Disney World. Which one should we do? You don't want to go to Disney World? For real. I already packed all of your guys' suitcases and we're about to leave for the airport right now. And we're going to go to Disney World for four days. Right now? Right now. Our, our airplane leaves in two hours. <laughs> so we need to head to the airport right now. We're already packed. No, but for real. Boy, are you sure, are you, sure you don't want to go to the park? We can go to the park if you really want to. Go to the park instead? I can cancel our flights. No. No. I'm I got to Sunday keeps trying to pull this camera off. We have um, some actually home yeah, we renovation have some, like, things. Yeah, we have some update stuff we want to show some, you. We like, should show them the treehouse too. Yeah, we got, yeah I'm, I'm just going to show you guys all yeah. the new things in this house because it's, it's, There's it, some it's cool stuff. pretty cool. So. Hey guys, so I'm a mom just like I'm sure some of you guys are too and I wanted to share something amazing that has made my life easier and my home safer. It's the Vertilux Motorized Shades. With Vertilux, safety comes first. Their cordless system eliminates choking hazards, giving us parents peace of mind. Hey Alexa, turn down dining room shade. Now that's cool. That's cool every time. These ones are pretty too. No more worrying about those cords and no more tangled messes. Vertilux also offers this incredible app that's a lifesaver. With the Vertilux app, you can set up scenes for every part of your day. Imagine waking up to soft morning light, having the perfect movie night, or setting up the mood for a romantic dinner, all with just a tap on your phone. And here's the best part. The Vertilux app integrates seamlessly with Siri and Alexa. Just ask them to create your favorite scenes and watch the magic happen. So if you want to enhance your home safety and bring convenience to a whole new level, make sure to check out Vertilux Mode shades. Um, all these shades in our house is actually owned by a company that is one of our best friends. The company's called Vertilux and it's a super awesome company and our entire house has all these shades that uh, has a remote Basically, to open them. Basically every single window in our house has one. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. So and again they're such good people. Um, and such good friend of ours. high quality. So nice. And the highest quality shades. So We'll link them down below as well. Vertilux, check them out. Brand new. I mean, this is so cool. I, I've never seen these in a house before. So if you're interested, check them out. All right, so I'm walking to our backyard. I exaggerated earlier, but it does get dark here around like 4.40. It's nuts. It's like 4.20 right now, and it's getting dark already. But we got this new tree house. I don't know if we ever showed the final product. Um, super cool. Uh, it's literally built within some trees, um, making it a tree house. And the kids absolutely love it. Brand new uh, company starting up here. Again, one of our friends builds these and it turned out so cool. The kids absolutely love it. So we will link his company. I think it's called like Backyard Fort Co. So if you're looking for um, backyard forts in Tennessee, coolest, each one is uniquely uh, handmade for you and your backyard. So I'll link them down below if you're interested. Super, super cool company and our kids absolutely love it. <laughs> So our in-ground trampolines are probably our favorite thing in our entire backyard. Uh, we got two of them back to back, done by trampolines.com. We will actually link their Instagrams down below so you guys can check it out. But we come out here every single day. I just leave to blow it because they're under a couple trees and uh, lots of leaves fall on here and here in the fall and winter seasons. And uh, mama's picking up some trash because it always gets a little, <laughs> a little messy right here. Uh, our house is just, okay, and if it looks like clean, then like we cleaned it up a lot. Um, I'll, I, you know, I'll just be like transparent with you guys. We got like, you know, some action figures and some Pokemon cards and some bunch of juice boxes <laughs> and a bunch of trash. Trash that Savannah's picking up. Bowl that's been out here for probably like three months. So it's very easy to get things, these things off camera. I mean, you know, water bottles. Well, we aren't like living in a pig site, old shoes. But it's just, it's very real. Um, so. Is it cold? Well, it's cold out here, huh? It is getting a little chilly. So if it looks overly clean. Everly is clean. taking the math test because. I told her she had to catch up on some schoolwork so she didn't have anything to do next Monday because we're not going to be at school. Homeschool perks, let's go. Because you guys remember Disney World. Just don't see it too loud. Please, right there. Well, yeah, but she's not the same. Okay. I guess not. Homeschool perks, guys. You can take five days off so to go to nice. Disney with the family. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We talked about this because we went like, like we said, two, three years ago. And we were always like, that was so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. We'll, my wife we'll, is try, so we'll try to film some of it. Right? I think we should try for baby number five. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have to try to convince me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I've never seen a mermaid jump on a trampoline before. I haven't either. Can I see the cool? Can I see the coolest the mermaid first. trick? How are you not freezing? Is Come on. Question. Come on. Let's see it. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, Zealand, show me your coolest trick. 
Let's see it. Oh, Zealand knows how to jump over both of the No way. Right? No way. Let's see it. Let's see it. Go, Z. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Awesome! That's Sunday! Look at Sunday. That's Sunday. Sunday just hangs with the big kids. Whoa! Posey, good one, mermaid! Go, jump, jump, jump. Get it? Um, guys, at our old house, we had an in-ground trampoline, and it was put in so poorly. It like, was. So bad. It was. It was and actually. I'm not going to say their name, so it's okay. But this the, yeah. is so nice. They, like, raised the, you know. It's just so nice. Yeah. It looks so good. It, 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 it's, it's a funny story. It's an in-ground trampoline. On our old house, it, it was a we brand, right it was a brand it. deal. And we're like, oh, my gosh. A trampoline? Absolutely. And they came up to our house, and they jacked it up, yeah. and the brain got scratched. We're like, like, don't, they're, they're like, don't post like, about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, don't post about it. So we had the trampoline, but um, uh, these ones are great. So we're, we're letting you guys know about them. Yeah. These ones turn out so, we'll so good. We'll link their Instagram down in the description and Daddy. their website. That's right. How you doing? I got it all. <laughs> Whoa. What do you guys see? Giraffes. Oh. Look at over there. Oh my too. goodness! They're at our hotel. Wow! Hey, giraffe! Why did you poop on the floor or the grass? Maybe because you drink water. It's a good one. That's funny. I love you, Sunny. Sunny, say hi, Minnie Mouse. Sunny, can you give her a hug? Oh, that's so nice. We also have ourselves some the wildebeest. Oh my goodness. Wildebeest are the second most densely populated herd on planet Earth. Does anybody know what they are? Yeah. Oh, that's funny, Sunday. <laughs> that's funny. My turn? <laughs> Your turn. You go. Oh, check it out. Alrighty. Hey, y'all wanna hop on the boat? Hop on. There you go. Go ahead. I'll follow you guys. Can you say hi? 